Hi, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Stasi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited. Oh, I, I can't even speak anymore. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to have Kev here today to talk about the sixth season of Bake Off. Oh my God. Hi. Welcome hi. back. Hi. 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 hi, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> I've just watched my little baby grow into like this little six season. I know. I, I have it, been with you every step of the way. You really have. Season. You really yes. have. It was when it all started at Builder Games season one, you know, and here we are with my own series and on to season six. So it's, it's so exciting, right? Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited yeah. to talk about the season, but before we do, Kev, welcome back. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Sims history? My name is Kev the Builder. You can find me on pretty much every platform as Kev the Builder. And I primarily build in the Sims, but I do host this little gameplay challenge thing over on Twitch called the Great Simish Bake Off. And we are now into season six. And it it just started with this idea of my love for the Great British Baking Show and my love for baking, my love for food, and my love for competition as well. And um, we're, we've now made it six seasons. We have six, um, well, this will be our sixth star baker, so our sixth winner. And um, over the years, we've just kind of fine-tuned the competition a little bit each year. And I'm I'm really excited for the what this new season's going to have in it. So, well, I'm definitely really excited. But before we talk about the sixth season, I want to talk about the successes of the fifth season. What can you share with us? Was the greatest success of your last season? Oh my goodness! So last season was all things like spooky. So it was, you know, we started with a competition that was very much um very classic to the theme of great british baking show and last season we kind of pushed the boundaries a little bit further and made things very halloween very harvest very fall like and um you know i think what was so successful last season was i found that there were so many community members that basically trauma bonded over the competition because of how um stressful and how engaged the community and their participation was last season so um i've had um people who came up to me and they're like oh my gosh we're now like best friends you know through bake off we're bake off buddies and you know it's like you have your exit buddy from finding nemo you have your baking buddy <laughs> in bake off so um true friendships are uh, made through bake off <laughs> i i love that for you the yeah. network you have through bake off is insane it, it's grown a lot it's it really grown has. a lot yeah. Um, what is the biggest accomplishment you think that has come so far in Bake Off? I ask you this every season. So now I got to know what's the biggest accomplishment so far? Biggest accomplishment. I mean, on like personal goals, you know, I think the viewership that happens per episode now has obviously grown because there's so many people who are wanting to watch it, who actually tune in to watch it. So that's been such an amazing um I think achievement for myself and the community and the people who really are like, I have community members who have been watching since, you know, season one. Mm -hmm. And it's just so amazing to see the engagement and how we've changed the competition to be um, more engaging for viewership too over on Twitch. So that it's not just like you're watching, you know, there's there's now like build challenges involved, obviously, because I am the builder. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's just there's got to be uh, ways to keep people motivated to want to watch it and stuff. And it's not just, you know, something that they can, you know, that they just watch for a couple hours on Saturday. It's, you know, they're they're doing the build challenges. Their viewership points on Twitch can obviously help. um or sabotage a contestant in a competition. So it's 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 a lot of fun now. I I love that. Um so season six, baby. We're taking yep. it back all the way to the 80s. Yep. yep. So was your collab that you hosted earlier this year for the 80s? Did this inspire you to do this? It may have been a little bit of a teaser. It may okay. have been a little, a little bit of a teaser. teaser. <laughs> we were, you know, we were talking, me and my mods were talking. Um, I have to do a shout out for them. Uh, my amazing mods, uh, Retro Lark, 
um, aficionado, smoky glow, and word no words. They have been a part of this, you know, bake off journey since the beginning, and their input has been, you know, so amazing. Um, but we were like in the middle of last season, and um, we were, I was talking about this save file, this like sandbox save file that I was um, wanting to host. Mm -hmm. And then we were like talking about how like that could be such a great theme. And it just started like spitballing ideas and turning into what could be the great Simish Bake Off season six. And um, yeah, that save file definitely was like a little, little jump start to what this season is gonna uh, entail and everything. So amazing yeah. yeah break it down what yeah. what is this season so bake off gonna obviously hold? it's like totally 80s and we have three teams um we went back to the team mentality that we had for the veteran season which you were a part of <laughs> and um it is three teams of seven we have the team valley girls we have the team mall rats and then we have the team tubular and um Basically, these teams are going to work in a way that there are challenges as a team in the competition that will give them prizes and benefits to winning. Mm -hmm. um, we are also structuring the season as a point system so that it kind of alleviates the stress of, oh, I'm not doing well this week. I'm going to get eliminated kind of a thing. So eliminations are only happening like every two weeks um, based on what your points are that you generate through your baking quality. Mm -hmm. um, so like if you make an impeccable bake, you know, you're getting 10 points. If you make an excellent bake, you get like six points. If you make a normal it's you know there's like a whole structure for it and everything and that way you're set it I, we felt like that makes it an even like less stressful playing field for this competition so yeah we're excited to unveil that and then oh 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 and and we're uh instead of the backdrop this season being at a like um, estate or manor or castle or something like that we had to bring it back to the 80s and we are in a classic synth wave 1980s mall and the contestants are going to be competing in a food court style arena and we have amazing themes this season that are keeping classics to um, you know, things that were happening in the 80s too, a little bit. So we have um, one, our redemption episode is going to be all Madonna themed. And then our, um, we have a uh, chess week, um, because chess the musical was like such a big thing during the 80s, which was um, basically the storyline somehow the storyline of Bobby Fisher and so we have like black and white cookies and black and white cake and there's going to be a chess tournament that's that week as well for the team competition so um, you know we're, we're trying to plug these like classic 1980s things like into the competition as well absolutely incredible I saw the ball and I was like <laughs> This is so nostalgic because malls don't <laughs> exist anymore. Malls are just like hollow, sad buildings that I have know, like no more Toys R Us in them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The and is... it's just, um, I don't know. I felt like the malls were such an iconic backdrop to so many like John Hughes movies or even like when you think of like Back to the Future, you know, he was in the DeLorean in the parking lot when he went back in time or um stranger things even you know that takes place in the 80s you know it's like it was such an iconic time and era for malls to exist and here we are with you know two-day prime at a maximum so you know no need for malls too much anymore unfortunately but I, yeah. I, st I still love going to a mall these I, days I do too before yeah. I ask you any more questions what's your favorite store to go to when you're in a mall and what oh. is your favorite food to get out of food court oh shut up okay yeah. so <laughs> so we were we literally went to one of the big malls here in Chicago the other day and they had an FYE inside the mall which is a for you for your entertainment store and it 
was such a flashback because they had like the the graphic tees on the wall and like they had vinyls and like CDs and like I'm just like I remember as like a teenager like I would go there and like search for CDs you know like I would be like okay there's the killers album I want that where's the postal service you know and like this is like early 2000s that I would like be at the mall and stuff like that but I just feel like that idea of like going to the mall to buy a CD or to buy music is so something that people don't understand these days because we can stream everything we can download anything that we want at any time so I do I do really love those stores um and then when it comes to the food court I am such a fan for a Wetzel's pretzel if anybody knows me I am team Wetzel's pretzel over Annie Ann's any day um but yeah I'm always like I'm a pretzel girly at heart (laughs) I love that for you what about you so mall queen uh as being a Canadian there was my like there were three malls in my city like when I grew up so Mm -hmm. Uh, White Oaks, Westmount, and Masonville. Masonville was the rich mall on the other side. So you like you only went there for like special occasions. Yeah. But like if I was going to White Oaks, I obviously had to go to Claire's, which is like the accessory store. Yeah. Got to get my Claire's in there and had to go to Sirens and Blue Notes, get my cheap ass clothes, go to Fairweather, same idea. Yeah. Um, then I gotta get my booster juice smoothie. Oh, snap. and my New York fries. Like that was like my, the pinnacle. So that was that mall. And yeah, if I yeah. went to the other mall, that's where the movie theater was. Mm-hmm. So I got my three dollar teen burger from A and W. My four dollar movie ticket, and I would watch movies all day long because you. There's this beautiful thing called an SPC card for anybody who's listening to this in Canada. That's exactly what an SPC card is. It's a student card that's like attached like thousands of places. And you're just like, I have an SPC. Give me 10% off. So we, we used to sell something like that. There was like um yeah. like a fun right fundraiser like that in like middle school and high school that like you would sell these like I don't know, access cards in a way. It, it was so weird. I mean, it was like before like gift cards were kind of a thing too. I don't know. God, I feel so old now. <laughs> right? People listening to this be like, you had to go to the store to buy albums. Yeah. <laughs> to go buy a CD. To yeah. buy a CD. What's a CD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, amazing. Um, so you said there were three teams. Who are the three leaders for the teams? So we don't have captains or coaches this season. So okay. it's all so we wanted to kind of keep the camaraderie and like the planning more within the team this season. Um you know, I love my coaches last season with the awful gamer and with Shannon builds and stuff like that. Um, but this season we felt like, you know, to kind of help the team communication be um, a little more uh, tight that we would have them work together and kind of plan and figure things out without the assistance of coaches this year. So okay. yeah. I, 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 I like that idea as well. Yeah. Let the teams be their own team captains yeah. and see what they want to do. Exactly. Let them figure out the chaos. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and I think, you know, as much as I, I, you know, I try to take responsibility of like the questions that people might have and stuff like that. But I felt like maybe the coaches were like being bombarded too much with questions kind of a thing. So it just kind of helps filter things a little bit too. I, I completely yeah. got you. When when does this start? When when can we start it, tuning in? It actually starts today, which <gasps> is August 31st. This is our first episode. We're doing basic bakes. Um, the contestants have all been zeroed out on all their skills, all their relationships. They're going into the the mall um completely blind. And um basically we're going in and we're starting with a slip and slide competition right away. You know, it's still summer here in Chicago and that's the team competition. So if you land a move on the slip and slide, you get a point. If you don't land the move and you wipe out, you don't get a point. So whichever team ends up with the most points at the end of the slip and slide, they uh, are the winning team for that week's uh, challenges. And then all contestants on the team will get a skill point in baking and in cooking And if it is an immune, or if it's a elimination week, they're also immune that week too. So 
that's kind of the benefit of working together, making sure your Sims are happy going into these team competitions to hopefully succeed in them. Amazing. How yeah. long do you think this season's going to last? It should be nine weeks okay. is what we're going for. Um, every Saturday at 12 noon central, we'll be streaming on Twitch. And um, yeah, it's it's going to be exciting. I'm, I think I'm most excited for uh, uh, the Madonna week. I'm really excited for redemption. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm very excited to watch you tune into the season to the best that I can and yeah. watch the chaos unfold. Always, always. Now, I'm opening up the floor. 30 yeah. second elevator pitch. Okay. Why should we tune into the season? I mean, this, if you love the 80s, first off, if you love the 80s, if you love a Sims competition, and if you love baking, I mean, those are the, those are your three reasons to watch right there off the bat. But who doesn't love a sweet treat? Who doesn't love chaos? And who doesn't love, you know, classic synth wave music at the same time, you know, while you're playing the Sims. So that's, that's my elevator pitch right there. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be fun. Um, and, you know, I just I think it's the 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 mall itself is absolutely gorgeous to look at. So it's going to be so much fun to see the Sims live their life in the mattress store where they're sleeping or in the radio shack, which is where the music and televisions are, or in the gym store, which is where they're going to be working out after they've eaten all only cupcakes and cookies. And, you know, they have, there's a roller rink, there's a bowling alley. There's like one of those like sleazy hot tub sauna stores in there. Um, the fountain in the middle of the mall is the pool. So all the contestants can hang out around the pool. Um, Oh, and then we also have uh, mall security too. So that's the sabotage this season. So instead of banishment to the to the graveyard, like we've done in the past, you now get banished to mall security in a little jail cell. Incredible. I was already sold to begin with, but this is the best fucking season <laughs> I've ever heard in my fucking life. I love this. Yes. Now, I have to know my final question is, as I whisper into your ear, I had held yes. a, another podcast with a mutual friend of ours, GB Sims, yes. earlier this year, as I yes. whis as we both whispered in being like, collab, collab, collab. Yes. Yes. Do we see any collabs on the future? Absolutely. This just season seven is already in the thought process and, um, all I can say is we're going to be going back to basics and there's going to be a fantastic um, castle at the end of it. So yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I cannot wait to see this club. I would like, I would like a small credit. <laughs> you'll be, you'll be listed for sure. Okay. I'm, I'm an unpaid extra. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a producer. I'll be a producer. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, Kat, thank you so much for coming here today and talking about the sixth season of the Builder Games. Please check out uh, the Builder Games uh, season six. It will be out every Saturday for the bake next off, night. Bake off, bake, bake off. off. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm an idiot, guys. Freudian <laughs> slip, but it's totally fine because there is a connection there. <laughs> uh, but season six of the Great Simish Bake Off. Yeah, season six of Bake Off. Please go to check this out. Yeah. Uh, Kat, where can we find this season this season is going to be hosted on twitch every saturday at 12 noon central for the next nine weeks starting on august 31st and then um all episodes will be uploaded to youtube so if you can't catch it live you'll be always uh, able to catch the vod over on youtube so i love that yeah. i will have links below have a great first day today I can't watch it live, but I will watch it after. And I cannot wait to see the chaos unfold. Uh, please go check out um, Bake Off. Uh, the links will be below. Uh, Kev, again, thank you so much for coming here today. I have nothing to plug besides Forever and Always coming out in November. And Kev is also part of this project. I mean, I may have built something. He did. Yeah. He, bu he built a, a specific build that i literally cannot discuss <laughs> until the movie comes out um it's all but secret. it's all secret yeah i'm very excited for this project and kev thank you so much for letting building this beautiful scenery for me for yes. this yes. anytime anytime well 
Kev, thank you so much for coming here today. You're going to have the best season and I cannot wait to so talk. So excited. So excited. <laughs> Seventh season. Can't wait to talk about all the crazy stuff that happens in the sixth season. Yeah. Thank you, dear friend, for coming on here. Thank and you. Just thank you. Come in and sharing all the secrets. Well, have a great rest of your day, everybody. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.